Hello YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 5. This was a slower pace on the prison storyline and a faster pace on the governor storyline. Which I didn't really expect completely. I thought we'd get a lot more in the prison section. Um, but they really, like, Rick didn't, didn't even really have that much screen time. So, I mean, it was, I thought it was a good episode. It was a solid, slow-moving episode. Moved, you know, some stuff forward a little bit. Um, well, I, like the, I guess I'll start with the prison storyline. The reaction to the, the baby and everything like that, having to go get the Formula One stuff. You know, I'm glad they did that. I'm glad um, that they went, they got it, and that was it. It didn't really, you know... They didn't have to go find a zombie and kill it. They just went, they got it, they came back. Uh, the scene with Glenn and Herschel was, you know, was well done, was nice. The two new prisoners, they probably should watch their back. They're integrated into the group, but they kind of, you know... Uh, they, Like I said, they should just, like, really watch their back because I'm sure they'll be turned on quickly if they need to be. That's, what, that's the vibe I seem to get. Like, they'll have no problem sacrificing those guys for the other group. Uh, Carol, I have no idea what's going on with Carol. I thought she ran out into the prison yard. Did she run out outside the prison yard? I mean, they seemed to think that she was dead. We didn't see it, and because we didn't see it, I'm going to assume that she's not. So, we'll wait on that. I'm glad they're not going looking for her so we don't get a uh, Sophia thing like last season. And, uh, oh, by the way, Carl naming the baby Sophia was nice. Then when he rattled off the rest of the dead girls on the show, it became just kind of morbid and odd. And, uh, yeah. But Lil Ass Kicker is the name of the, uh, the kid for now. So, that's fine. I'm trying to think of something else in the prison storyline before Rick. Yeah, I don't know. Carl didn't seem too broken up about Lori. That was a little odd. Rick, however, was pretty messed up. He just went, grabbed an axe, and just took it to people. Glenn tried to calm him down, didn't work. Andrew Lincoln was very good again in the episode. And, um... Yeah, the ending was kind of annoying with the phone, like, hello, who's it? It was just kind of like, you know, they literally gave us a cliffhanger of nothing, pretty much. So that was a little annoying. But, yeah, it was a good reactionary uh, episode on the... Oh, I forgot. The... Rick was looking for Lori's body and found a very pregnant very full looking zombie that I guess ate Lori which I mean he ate her bones and all pretty much I don't know that's that was kind of odd and I thought Rick was kind of like rip out the things like stomach and rip out like a hand that had like her wedding ring on it or something just to make sure instead he just started stabbing the uh the stomach which just reminded me of the week before so I don't know if that's supposed to be like he's pissed off at the baby or something for being born and killing his wife? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll figure some of that out as we move forward with uh, with that storyline and at least what the hell the damn phone call was. Uh, Alright, as far as the governor goes, that storyline I thought was a little bit better this week. Michonne actually got some stuff to do. She's still a little bit too one-note, a little bit too angry. Uh, we understand while, you know, in this world why they're angry and while they're, un, you know, they're not... People aren't trust, you know, they're not trusting, and her not trusting the governor makes perfectly sense to her and no one else, which is aggravating. I don't know why she let the zombies out to just like kill him. It, I mean, it was okay. Like, yeah, right, she's badass. I get it. I get that she's badass and pissed off. Let's see something else for uh, for her, and she just left Andrea and everything like that. Well, she tried to get Andrea to come with her, so I don't know. I'm still I'm still up, up in the air about her for right now. Um, the stuff with Andrea in this episode, I'm glad finally it looks like Andrea saw the light a little bit by the end of it. So that's good, because I didn't want that to drag out too long, where she would just be, you know, no, this place is fine. Like, now at least she sees that it's not, which is good. So I hope that moves forward a little bit. Uh, the governor had a great opening scene where I felt bad for him. Uh, it was creepy, uh, but it was also sad. So that's well done, at least humanizing the villain a little bit. And then they did the fighting uh, pits, which I know is from the comic book. I didn't know, I don't know if it works the way that they did it in the show. 
It's kind of stupid that they said, like, oh, you know, we take their teeth out. Like, like, can't they scratch you and infect you also? Wasn't that easier for them to do? Unless they took their nails out as well, I guess. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, that storyline I thought was a little bit better this week. And, um... You know, I'm trying to think. I guess it's really it. I mean, some I heard some people arguing that not a lot happened this episode, but... I thought it was a decent, like, decent, like, you know, combination of moving the plot forward a little bit on one end and then kind of holding it in place on the other end. It was fine. The phone call will move the prison storyline, I think, a little bit forward next week. And the governor storyline looks like it's going to move forward as well. So, uh, and there are 16 episodes this season, not 13. I made a mistake about that last week. Sorry. Someone told me in the comments about it. Thank you. So, we have... This was episode five, so we have, what, three left before they take a break? So I, I expect these next three episodes to be pretty, pretty strong. I think we have three left before the break. I assume they're going to split at eight and eight. Uh, someone let me know if I'm wrong about that, too. I might be. Sorry. So if we have three left, I expect these last three to move pretty quickly, and uh, that should be good. That's always good for this show. It's better than last season. These first five episodes definitely still remain an improvement over season two, and I'm looking forward to see where it goes from here. All right. Later, guys.